Bones wheels or Spitfires. We're gonna find out which is better. All right, what's up guys? So for today's video, we are going to be doing Bones wheels versus Spitfire wheels. And yes, I'm in my car doing this because I didn't feel like doing it at home. Mainly because we always do our videos in the basement, which is pretty boring at this point. So we're doing it in our car in the parking lot of my old elementary school. So let's get right into it. Bones and Spitfire mainly known as like the two like main wheel brands in skateboarding. I feel like those two wheel brands are basically what skateboarding is like if you really like if you, you can go to the skate park and look at anyone's setup and i can guarantee you like 95 percent of the time like they either have bones or spitfire usually i see a lot more people with spitfires rather than bones but still both wheel brands kind of dominate the skateboarding industry yes you have other brands like Ricta and like oj's which are also very popular as well but most of the time even like pro skateboarders when they talk about their setup most of the time you always see bones or spitfire i mean i could be wrong i mean that's just mainly what i see i don't know what you guys think comment down below your opinion and i'll even put up a poll which one you guys skate the most do you guys skate spitfires more or do you guys skate bones more so i'm gonna put a poll i think it's in like this corner right over here i might be pointing to the wrong corner because i've never done it before so i don't i don't know so i just if you see the poll just click on it see which ones you guys prefer but um yeah without any further ado let's get into the video sitting in the back but my current spitfires are on my board right now and i don't really want to grab my board over but i'm sure you guys know what spitfire wheels look like and i'm actually going to post a picture right here of the ones that i'm skating um but yeah so those are my spitfires that i'm skating those are the formula 4 conical full their 53s and their 99 durometer as for these wheels, these were the Bones V1s. These were 54, I believe, and I think these were 103A. And they're just the classic, uh, you know, traditional round shaped wheel, which uh, lasted me a pretty decent amount of time. Of course, I, as, when I was skating these wheels, I wasn't actually skating every single day at the time. So they did last quite a lot longer than usual. But anyways, we're gonna start off talking about Bones first because Bones was actually the first set of wheels that I ever skated when I got my first board like way back in 2014. So I'm gonna talk about Bones first. I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I like and what I dislike about them. And then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about what similarities that both brands have and which one I would suggest you guys to get and I'm gonna give you guys which one is my favorite overall So we're gonna start off with a pair of bones that I have right here. So again, these were the classic shapes that I had um, Just your standard traditional round wheel. I always get white wheels um, Bones, I believe they also still carry like their different colored options, but yeah So these wheels I got these wheels for about 35 bucks. They sold them at my local skate shop uh, They still do um, they retail for about 35 bucks. Uh, it might vary depending on which place you get them like if you get them at a local shop usually they'll retail for like 35 bucks if you get them online usually 35 bucks they could be like 38 bucks by now depending on like pri if prices have changed or whatever but usually these guys retail for about 35 bucks it's a very decent price um they also last really really long for me uh that's another thing that i really love about bones is that they last a long time now of course you guys have seen the park that i skate uh, it's very like the ground is literally pure rocks like it's literally pure rocks and your wheels are gonna wear down really fast so these wheels did tend to wear down a little faster uh, compared to if I were to skate like a smooth like concrete park you guys have seen the skate park like I said that I skate it's basically just the parking lot with a fence with around it with like you know ramps inside in the center um, and so that ground is super rough so these wheels were definitely uh getting a lot of work put into them um even though these were the street tech formulas that i skated uh they did kind of wear down a little bit faster um than i wanted them to so that's pretty much like the only downside of it but if you were to skate a smooth brand new concrete park these wheels will pretty much last you a really really long time but um they do do the job but of course i think with the shape it is it definitely made it a lot difficult to skate in with rougher ground if you're gonna skate a, a park like i do that has like really rough ground i definitely get recommend getting like a wider wheel which i bones does carry a, a set of wider wheels i believe they're the v5s i believe uh the v5s usually tend to last longer but so yeah these were the street tech formula bones stfs um it's funny because the hardness of this wheel was 103A, and you would think that it being 103A, it would be 
really hard and really slick. It pretty much felt just like a 99 durometer wheel, like from Spitfire. Um, it still slides decently, but at the same time, it uh, gives you the right amount of grip that you need to not slide uncontrollably. So you definitely feel secure and a lot of traction with these wheels, but at the same time, if you want these to slide, they will slide for you. So that's definitely another plus about these wheels. Another thing that I really like about these wheels is that it's a really smooth ride. Uh, now, of all the wheel brands that I've skated in the past, I've skated Spitfire, Force Wheels, Richter Wheels, uh, what else have I skated? I think those are mainly the wheel brands that I've skated other than Bones. But out of all those brands that I mentioned, these were the smoothest riding wheels. It's funny because they're hard wheels. They're hard street wheels, hence the name Street Type Formula. But they felt really smooth and soft whenever you would basically roll on them. And that's like, I don't know. It just felt comfortable. It felt nice. But at the same time, even though I did mention that it does slide whenever you want it to, it does take a little bit more effort to kind of power slide in these compared to Spitfires, which I'll get into eventually. Um, but I mean, that's something that you could just get used to and kind of like, you know, get around with over time. I mean, I don't really power slide a lot, but um, it, it's not gonna take too much more effort to power slide in these. You'll definitely power slide just fine. Um, for me personally, I just kind of found it a little bit harder to power slide in these. But um, yeah, it's, it's still like, you can, it, power slides are still definitely possible on these wheels. Now, another thing I also liked about these wheels, and I don't know if this is just like with bones or like if every wheel brand is different when it comes to this, but putting the bearings in and getting the bearings out was significantly a lot easier with these wheels. Uh, with Spitfires, I don't know why, but it's really difficult to get the bearings out of those wheels. Like I literally have to use like every ounce of my body to like get those bearings out. But with these, you can slide them in and slide them out and like no problem. And like, they're easy to get in, but they stay in and they're super snug. But if you want them to come out, they'll come straight out if you wanted to. So that's definitely a plus with these wheels. This doesn't really have much to do with the, um, with the quality of the wheels but another thing i really like about these wheels and just bones in general is that the variety of options that you have uh they have different shapes they have like from v1 all the way to like v6 and each shape is like a different like shape wheel and the only other pair of bones that i've skated other than the v1s which are these ones was the v5 it's basically sort of like a conical shape wheel and it's a little bit wider and a little bit thicker uh than these so it was easier for me to kind of skate the park that I skate because it was easier to get through the rough ground. But uh, I'll have to do a separate review on those uh, some other time because I don't have my pair of V5s anymore. I got rid of them because they were old and crusty. So had to get rid of them. But that's pretty much my spiel on Bones wheels. Uh, if I were to give them a rating, honestly, I would give them like a good nine out of 10 because uh, they never failed me. Um, it does feel a little bit more different than Spitfires, but if I, if you were to ask me if I'd skate this wheel again, and if, if, if I would recommend it to you guys, absolutely. Uh, they're definitely not a bad wheel at all. They're at a good price and they will last you a pretty long time. So now onto the Spitfires, which are on my board, which I don't feel like grabbing because I don't want to scrape up my leather seats with the grip tape, but onto Spitfires. I'm just gonna go straight into it. Spitfires tend to generally last me a lot longer than Bones wheels. And I think a lot of people can actually say that. Uh, I've heard it from a lot of people. Um, and I, it, specifically the Formula 4s. Spitfire, their Formula 4s are like the most long lasting wheels that I have ever skated. I've skated their wheels to like a point where it's almost the size of like the bearing in the wheel. And even though it's super small, I was still getting like a good amount of speed and it wasn't too much of a pain to actually skate in them. If anything, I feel like Spitfire wheels are a lot better when they're worn down after skating them for a while compared to like when they're brand new. But that could also just be me not being used to like skating new things. Like I don't like to break in new things. I mean, I like to get new things and set new things up, but the break in time, it kind of sucks. But that could just be like a me issue. With Bones, it's kind of like the complete opposite. I feel like with Bones, it's good in the beginning, but as you keep skating them, they start to kind of feel a little bit worse. But with Spitfires, it's the other way around. So that's definitely one thing I truly love about Spitfires is that they tend to feel a lot better, if not just as good, when you first get them out of the box. So I don't know what they're doing, but Spitfire, 
Good job. Even though Spitfires don't have much of a variety compared to Bones when it comes to their wheel shapes, the Spitfire conical foals are different compared to like other conical shaped wheels that I've skated in the past. I don't know what it is about them, but something about the conical foal from Spitfires, they shaped, they, they shaped themselves a certain way that I like it as I keep skating them. And like looking at my wheels now, like I feel like they only tend to get wider and wider and wider as I keep skating them, which that's like a huge plus for me. Cause again, the skate park that I skate, super rough ground, small wheels are not gonna really do well in terms of getting speed or just like the overall feeling of skating. So having those wheels like Spitfires, that just kind of widen over time, which I'm pretty sure every wheel does that, but something about Spitfires, like again, with it feeling a lot better as you keep skating it and it being wider as you keep skating it, when you put those two together, it's like you're literally golden skating those wheels. So that's definitely a plus about Spitfire, specifically the Formula 4s. Now, another thing I truly love about Spitfires is how easier it is to power slide compared to Bones and I typically don't get flat spots either. Now with bones, you also don't flat spot when you do power slides as well, but I feel like with Spitfires, when it comes to power sliding them, if you really want to power slide, you will like go. So like, I guess like if there's one thing I really love about Spitfires is that it's a lot easier to power slide in, but at the same time, you kind of got to be careful about it because they can wear down to a point where they're super slick if and if you think they're just as grippy as they were when you first bought them when you power slide them you might catch yourself as a surprise and end up like slipping out which thankfully it hasn't you know happened to me yet that's pretty much my two cents on spitfire now i'm gonna talk to you guys next about what is similar between the two brands so when it comes to the price, they pretty much retail around the same price range. Uh, I think Spitfires at my local shop at least, but both Bones and Spitfire at my local shop still retail for about 35 bucks. Uh, I believe if you go online like Skate Warehouse or like CCS or whatever, I think Spitfires retail for about 38 to almost 40 bucks now. I know at Zoomies, Spitfires are like $42, which is kind of freaking ridiculous in my opinion. And Bones wheels are like 38 bucks, but I think on like local skate shops and like online skate shops i think bones and spitfire bones will be like 35 bucks and like spitfire it's either a hit or miss it's either 35 bucks or 38 bucks and worse comes to worse 40 bucks which i think is kind of ridiculous in my opinion but i don't know if it has anything to do with inflation but i mean it is what it is i mean at least if you buy a pair of spitfires you do get what you pay for and you are getting like the best quality wheel in my opinion so that's one similarity that they share is that the price ranges are pretty much identical if not the same um, another thing that they're very similar of is that um, they are, even though Spitfires typically last longer than Bones, they, it really all depends on your skating. And like, I still tend to find that Bones and Spitfire tend to generally last the same amount of time. But of course, it depends on your style of skating, what you skate and how you skate and how often you're skating. But Spitfires tend to last just a little bit longer, but pretty... It, the, like the length in like their lifespan is pretty much like similar which is probably like one of the main reasons why bones and spitfire literally dominate the skate wheel market because they, they they're decently priced they feel great and they last pretty much the same amount of time and they don't flat spot the quality in both of these wheel brands are amazing and i honestly really can't complain i mean the only things that i complain about are like the little things that no one really it's not really worth like complaining about but that's just me but overall in general both of these wheel brands are like your two premium wheel brands to like really go for out of like the others in my opinion um but um yeah that's pretty much all i would have to say about these wheels um if i were to really now i did mention in the beginning which one I, to tell you guys which one is my favorite wheel out of the two and i will it's, I guess it's pretty obvious, but if not, uh, my favorite wheel brand is Spitfire. I personally love Spitfires a lot because they work in any terrain for me, whether it's street or smooth, like ground, like the smoothest ground in the world or rough ground. Spitfires tend to do a better job for me compared to Bones, regardless of what shape it is. Um, so I would definitely go for Spitfire 
Um, but let's say if Spitfire ever went out of business, which God forbid that from happening, uh, I would definitely be fine skating bones as well. Um, but my final verdict, I personally think Spitfires are better. Comment down below what you guys think. Uh, or if there's any other wheel brands that you guys think is better and like if I should give it a try or whatever But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded one But I'm gonna do the best that I can to hopefully try to get these back uh, up and running again But uh, yeah, if you guys liked it leave a like on it and comment down below what wheels you guys like to skate or, or what other brands that you guys suggest that I should try out um, if you guys do want to see more from me You can always subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell that way you guys are notified every time I upload a new video and that you guys don't miss an upload so definitely do that I'll do videos here as much as I can uh, kind of in a weird situation at the moment um, but we'll see what happens thank you guys so much for the support I love you guys take care of yourselves if you guys can go out there and skate or do whatever it is that makes you happy and I will see you guys in the next video take care guys I love y'all peace Missing someone.